This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can adapt a standard uh, vacuum that you can buy at your, say, like your big box stores to work with your Unita 3x4 sanders. I keep getting a lot of people on social media, reamaze on our store asking, what adapters do I need to get my vacuum to work with this sander? Because they can't afford to buy the expensive Unita sander. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks how we go about adapting a sander to work with a rigid vacuum right here and it's going to apply to a lot of different uh, vacuums out there. So if you want to see how to adapt your vacuum to work with a 3x4 sander, sander, stay tuned for this video. All right, here we go. We're going to show you how you can adapt your uh, shop vac to your 3x4 sander right here. Now, one of the things about this whole system right here, the 3x4 um, Ekasan sander with the Yonita vacuum, this is a professional system. The vacuum is not cheap, but it's all integrated, a self-cleaning vacuum with a tool stand on it. One of the great things about it, you push the trigger. Vacuum turns off, vacuum shuts off. Integrated system with a self-cleaning feature that cleans out the filter on it. And it is a HEPAVAC system. It's perfect for sanding cabinets and keeping a dust-free environment. Now I know not everybody can afford this vacuum. It's quite a bit of money. Um, it's available on Paint Life Supply, but how do you go about using a three by four sander because that's the best sander you could possibly use for interior exterior sanding. Um, and it's got the most versatile profile on it, a three by four profile. There's nothing better for cabinet sanding than that sander. So if you can't, if you can afford the sander, but you can't afford the vacuum, how do you adapt a shop vac that you just get at your local hardware store to the sander? So we're gonna show you how you can go about doing that. Now, the, the recommended way to do that is to get a home Hose. You don't want to use the hose that comes with your vacuum because it's typically too short. It's larger diameter. It's not designed to create the amount of suction that you need to get your dust-free sanding. So we want to uh, use a shorter um, or a smaller diameter hose. This hose is sold at Paint Life Supply. It's a 15-foot hose right here. This hose comes singly. It doesn't come with any adapters. I just put this adapter on here second ago so it comes the hose all by itself now what you do is you're going to disconnect your vacuum so you're you're actually going to get a sander and the sander comes with no fittings so this um came with fittings because it uh, came with the vacuum itself this vacuum comes with a hose everything you need to do to vacuum with it and adapt it to your sander so it's going to come just a sander alone just like this without any hose. So I'm gonna disconnect that so you can get an idea. So I got just my sand right here. Now, how do I adapt it to uh, attach to this vacuum? I'm gonna take one end of this hose. One of the great things about these is all you gotta do, they just reverse thread right onto your sander. So I'm gonna just take, put it on here, reverse thread this thing on, and now it's, connected that easily to your sander. Now, when it comes to a Festool vacuum, a Festool vacuum has the same type of hose, has a fitting on it that fits a Festool sander. So if you want to use this sander with a Festool vacuum, all you gotta do is unthread that fitting and then thread, this right, thread the hose right onto your sander and you're adapted right to a Festool vacuum. I'm pretty sure the same goes with a Merca vacuum also. So you can use either vacuum or you might just need one fitting. But a Festool is very simple. I get asked a lot about the Festool. It just threads on, reverse thread on, reverse thread off. Now, how do you get the opposite end of this to hook to your vacuum? So I'm gonna take unattach my vacuum hose they don't want to use this hose because once again, it's a large diameter hose, not designed to really vacuum out of the sander. So I'm going to take this adapter right here. This adapter slips on there. It's a slip adapter. It's going to go right into the vacuum. It's going to reverse thread right onto the hose. And now you're attached that fast to your vacuum. Now, Paint Life Supply, there's a bunch of different 
uh, fittings that you can get. This so happens to fit this rigid vacuum, very simple and easy. There's thread slips on both sides. There's a smaller threaded, a uh, little bit smaller slip. There's uh, two threads on both sides, so you can hook two hoses together if you need a longer hose. There's a small, smaller diameter slip and thread. A lot of different things. There's a whip, and we're gonna show you what this whip does also. This is gonna slip right into your vacuum. Turn it on. Just like that. Now you're ready to go with um, using your shop vac. Now, if you want to use your shop vac, you don't want to purchase a hose, which I highly recommend you purchase the hose, and it's about $25 for this hose. If that's not in your budget either, and you're going to try to adapt uh, just the shop vac hose, I'm going to put that shop vac hose back on there. What I'm going to do is take the shop vac end right here, which is a lot shorter hose. It's not very flexible, not very ideal, but that's where this whip comes into play. This whip is gonna make the end of the shop vac hose a lot more flexible and workable with your sander. So I'm gonna, it's got a thread in, I'm gonna reverse thread this thing on there. Now somehow I gotta connect these two ends together. That's where this fitting will come into place. That's available on Paint Life Supply. Slips in on one end, and then it's gonna slip in on the opposite end. Just like that. And now, once again, I'm adapted with a whip hose to my shorter shop vac hose. Turn it on. All adapted right there so really it's going to come down to what's the um, inside diameter of your shop vac whatever style shop vac you have there's some with um, smaller diameters some with larger diameters you're just gonna to have to measure figure out what you need we also have got um, soft horsehair vacuum in so when you're vacuuming your cabinet doors that you don't mark scratch or um, leave black marks on your cabinet doors when vacuuming or your trim also simple little fast easy way how to adapt a shop vacuum to the eka sand three by four sander if you've got any tips or tricks or if you got anything um, any methods about adapting sanders that i haven't showed here uh, that we might need to keep uh, adapters or tools in uh, the paint life supply co store just let us know all these tools the sanders, the vacuums, they're available at Paint Life Supply. Go check it out there, paintlifesupply.com. If you got any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. If this has helped you out in any means, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. Like we always say, we'll see you next time.